First Missouri Bank, 455 Sandbar Drive in Kearney. The phone number is 816-903-9010. First Missouri Bank, we're passionate about helping people create a brighter financial future in the communities we call home. Member FDIC. Good evening and welcome to the KPGZ Newsroom for your weekly news recap. I'm Jim Dickerson. The Clay County Constitution Committee announced on August 26 that the newly proposed Constitution will go to voters for approval on the November 3rd ballot. In June, Circuit Court judges appointed the committee to write the new Constitution for Clay County. The committee published the proposed draft in only five weeks. The biggest issue voters were trying to resolve was the current situation where two commissioners consistently override the vote or input of the third. The committee addressed the issue by expanding the current slate of commissioners from three to seven, but they also did much more. Mike Davis joins us now with the story. Indeed they did, Jim. The current draft of the new Clay County Constitution removes elected positions within the county and changes them to appointed positions. This portion of the document has not been made clear to voters as the ballot language omits this information, a move some opponents think was intentional. Article 5.01 specifically states, the offices of county clerk, treasurer, collector, recorder of deeds, and public administrator shall no longer be elected positions. Lydia McAvoy, a candidate for Clay County Western Commissioner, was with us on Kearney Live to talk about it. The big concern about consolidating the offices is that oversight. You know, I understand we all do different functions and some of them are ministerial, but you don't want the same person that writes the check being the one that bought the thing in the first place and the one that negotiated the price and the one that audits the books. You want those things separate for a good reason. Right. Even if they're all easy tasks, you still want them separate. And they won't be separate. And I cannot imagine what this commission would have gotten away with over the last oh. five or six years if we were all consolidated in appointed departments. A copy of the proposed Clay County Constitution is posted on the KPGZ website at 1027carneymo.com. Thanks, Mike. Don't forget that Election Day is November 3rd. Just a quick reminder, this is homecoming week for your Kearney Bulldogs. This week, the Bulldogs will return home to face off against the undefeated Winnetonka Griffins. We will be carrying the game live on the Bulldog Radio Network with pregame coverage starting at 6.40 and the kickoff at 7. Be sure to join us on 102.7 FM KPGZ, 1027carneymo.com, or the MyTuner radio app. Search KPGZ. Let's take a look at our weekend weather. Looks like fall is finally here and the temperatures are dropping. Last weekend, we were feeling temps in the 80s. This weekend, we will be 20 degrees cooler with highs in the lower to mid-60s during the day and overnight lows in the 40s. Chances of rain have moved out of the forecast for the most part, but they could return as we move through the weekend. Otherwise, we're expecting partly cloudy skies Friday through Sunday. Be sure to join us here in the KPGZ Newsroom every Thursday at 6.30 for your weekly news recap. Hourly on 102.7 FM and for breaking news as it happens on our website at 1027carneymo.com. For those of you joining us on KPGZ TV, stay tuned for the Coach Gray Show coming up next. On behalf of all of us here at KPGZ, have a great weekend.